Greetings, my friends. How are you? How are things going today out there in, in the world? It's so dark. Yes. Welcome to my castle. Um, I had to do some research this morning. Yeah, leopard print and coffee? Psh, come on. I had to do some research this morning. Because we're in GarageBand today. Look at that. Look at that. Holy crapola. Um, I don't know GarageBand very well. Luckily, I, I, I used it a little bit off and on. I did a bunch of the... Do you guys remember the 8-Bit Rebellion game that we made? I'm drinking water, too. This is a, um... The reason I have to, like, really pull on this thing... It's because it's got a Brita... It's a Brita water thing. So you can put, like, regular water. You can put tap water in it. And it's got a filter inside... So you can put unfiltered water in and get filtered water in your mouth. Um, so I had to do some research uh, about GarageBand. I hope I don't push this thing too far. Because uh, it's it can only do so much. Um, however, I'm pretty sure that I can make... I feel very, I feel very confident that we can make something great today. Um, I like the style of uh, the jam. Today, the requests were, of course, GarageBand, low-budget jam. We're going to discuss my budget in a moment. But it's going to be low-budget. Uh, Nuja Bees, Dilla, J. Dilla, Japanese Instruments, and Vangelis slash Blade Runner. So we're going to make a, uh, like a, Boom bap, hip hop, Japanese so track with with synths. This is my this is great. This is my sweet spot. So it's a great day to try that in GarageBand, which I'm not familiar with. I don't really know. Um, we can see how intuitive it is. It is. We can see how. Uh, how far I can push this thing before it starts crashing. I am running uh, this mic, just FYI, I had to run like Ableton in the background in order to do the mic because this, one thing GarageBand does not do is allow you to put a track on input and just leave it on and have it stay on. All these, which is weird. All the rest of the softwares do that. Um, at least Ableton, I think Logic and Pro Tools all let you turn on a mic and just leave it on. In GarageBand, whenever you click on, it mutes the other. It, it doesn't allow you to put anything else into input or record mode. So okay. that, that may be part of my issue. If that becomes part of the issue, I may have to switch to the, the mic on the camera, which is that really echoey thing. But it'll be, we'll work with it. Low budget. Oh, I was going to say, 8-Bit Rebellion, the game that we made um, forever ago, uh, I actually did those eight bit um, those eight bit versions of our songs. I made those from scratch in GarageBand. What? No way, Mike. Yes, it's true. The reason I did that is because it has a really good. I don't know where it is now. Like I, I, I would have to find it. But some for some reason I found a really good eight bit style synthesizer in GarageBand. And I was like, oh, this sounds way better than anything else I was using. And I was on the road and I needed something that was like easy to do. I could just do it with a, I don't have the keyboard here. Do I? It's basically a little Akai keyboard that's this big. It's got uh, two octaves of notes on it. Um, and I made it using that, my laptop and GarageBand. Eight bit versions of Faint and One Step Closer and all that stuff. So, yeah, so you can too. 
Uh, maybe I can, if I look, maybe I can find that 8 bit uh, sound here. I didn't. Um, what else? Anything? Oh, we've got to kind of decide on. Here's, here's a couple ground rules. I'm not going to use any of these keyboards because they're out of the budget. We're trying to keep the budget low. I don't know if the, for the budget today, if it's going to be like, it could be a hundred bucks. It could be 50 bucks. It could be nothing but garage band, nothing. Like I just get to use my keyboard controller and my computer and garage band. That already is a cost, right? So, but let's assume that if you're serious about like making music, you get or borrow a keyboard and you have a computer, which if you don't have those things, then what are you going to do? Um, am I allowed to use my microphone to make a sound? Here's the poll. Okay. First question in the poll. Um, my question is on the on the control plus icon on your page. It's going to say, "Is this acceptable in the low budget jam?" The first question is, "Is it okay for me to use my microphone?" So go ahead and vote. That's our first question. If I can't if I can't use the microphone, then that eliminates like gu acoustic guitars or tambourines or. Uh, snapping, clapping, no mouth noises, ASMR, all of those things are not possible if I'm not allowed to use this. Um, so that eliminates a lot. Um, incidentally, the sound that you are hearing, let me stop it real quick. The sound you're hearing is a stock sound that I have manipulated very quickly and easily. The sound itself is um, from their keyboards under bell. It's mellow chimes, which on its own, I was like, that's dope. Good sound. Then there's also a reverb. They've got a few reverbs in here. So here's it. here it is with the reverb, which I like on its own. But maybe I wanted it to be even more grimy and like mangled. And I put a pitch shifter on it. Pitch shifter, you can change the pitch, but it, it is doing it in real time. So it's gonna like not do a great job, which is great. Um, there's it at octave high. Here's an octave low. Here's with half, with like a little bit of the original sound coming in. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it's like Castlevania. Um, Maybe the reverb could be too much. That's weird too. It's cool. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use this sound. How do I mute the sound? Can I just click, right click and mute it? Um, no, I can just do this though. Okay, so I'll just mute that for now. Um, all right, so the, the, the uh, results of the poll, overwhelmingly the answer is yes, I can use a microphone. Okay, so that's good um, to know. Um, Next question, actually, let's leave this running so we can just vibe out with our creepy Castlevania music. Um, next question is, am I allowed to use sa my samples? Am I allowed to use any sound packs? I'm not gonna use a lot of them because it is too complicated in here. Um, at least I don't, I don't know if there's a I know there's a sampler in here, but I don't know if there's like a, like a, like a, the kind of sampler where I can put a sound on each key. Maybe I can, but I, I, I don't know how to do that. So am I allowed to use samples? And if I do, I won't use very many. Here's your next poll, running the same poll again. Go to control plus and vote. Am I allowed to use my sample library? Um, and when I say sample library, that excludes, um, keyboard instruments. I can use a keyboard note, like a single note sound, or I can use a single kick or snare or blah, blah, blah. Or do I need to stick to just the stuff in GarageBand? That is the poll. Ooh, it's a close one. I like this. You know what I'm going to tell you? I vote no. That's my, that's my 
Do I get to vote? Can I click on it? I don't know if I can click on it. Um, I vote no. I vote no samples. Except for the stock ones that come with uh, Garage Beer. Have to tell you guys, I was, I've been talking a lot lately about um, how positive the Twitch chat is. You know, we're not perfect. We argue. Um, but I've been telling people how it's like pretty good vibes. And I've been talking about the civility of the chat in interviews. And um, I also, as part of that, like you talk about that and then you talk about like a little bit like, um, not like, T like taking care of yourself during quarantine and things like doing things that are like feel good and positive right um i was talking about all that and then i was realizing oh i actually i haven't been getting enough sleep i haven't been working out i haven't been drinking enough water i was like dude i'm talking all this shit and i'm not like doing it <laughs> it was probably like i like Pro arguably drinking too much like drinking a like a cock a cocktail or like a few glasses of wine every night i was like you know what last night i was i it, yesterday in the afternoon anna and i did like a little at home workout one of those video like we have a there's like a video um it's like basically picture us with like a video, a, almost like a YouTube video put up on the TV screen. And then we're in like workout clothes, like in the living room, like working out to it. We did a little bit of that and I didn't drink any, any alcohol like at, after dinner. And then, um, and now I'm drinking my water this morning, just trying to, you know, just trying to be responsible, be a good, to treat myself good. All right. The, uh, the question was, can I use my samples? And, uh, I kind of led this, you know, this, uh, it was, it was like almost even in the poll. And then now it's 61% no. So I'm not going to use my sample libraries. I'm just going to use uh, garage band stuff and the microphone. Any other question? If anything else comes up, if anything else comes up, We'll address it then. Um, I will use my keyboard. I will tell you this though. There are lots of, vi of very nice, inexpensive keyboards um, that you can buy and use and stuff. And they, um, you know, th this one's not even that crazy, but you, you can get away with, you can, you can save a lot of money on that and you're fine. Um, all right, so let's look. Let's look at this jam. I'm gonna mute this mellow chimes for a moment. Maybe we'll come back to that. I probably won't do the Castlevania um, thing. Um, so, all right. So, I don't know much about GarageBand. So we're relying on this software to be um, to be intuitive. We're relying on it to be like easy to figure out, even though I don't know much. Um, Here's what I found. I found that if you press plus, you get a dialog that says software instrument, audio, or drummer. I found out that if you press so software instrument, they've, that shows you all their VSTs. The audio is for like a microphone in or whatever. Um, you could do a microphone or a guitar, bass, all that stuff. And drummer is actually interesting. They've got these pre-programmed loops of patterns Maybe we'll do that in a little bit and treat it like a breakbeat. We'll see. We'll come back to that. In software instrument, my first thought was, well, okay, so we've got to do, we're going to do uh, the, the one of these recommendations, these, these requests that stood out to me as like the hardest to do in GarageBand was Japanese instruments. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, if I can't, and you guys just said I can't use my samples. So thank God. There is a software uh, Japanese instrument in here. So I just opened it up. It, it defaults to this classic electric piano. I'll put that at the top. 
And in here under world music, I think it was. Yeah, I found it. Very easy to find. I started searching sounds and I found koto, which is a Japanese instrument. Let's find it here. Oh, oh it changed this one. Oh, oops. All right, that was a mistake. Let's go back and do that. Let's undo that actually. Let's undo that because I don't want to. There, we'll go up here. I was clicking the wrong guy. Um, boom, boom, boom. Great, there it is, ready? So we've got a Japanese instrument already. Yes. By the way, if you want to keep it authentic, your Japanese scale is... That's your scale. If you don't want to keep it authentic, authentic, then, I mean, whatever. Or... Right? All of a sudden it doesn't sound like a doesn't sound like a kodo anymore because you're choosing Western notes. But Japanese. Uh, it's got different versions. Plucked. A little bit softer harmonics. And then tremolo, which is nice. Pretty dope. That's a good instrument. And it's pressure sensitive. Watch, if I like push it like just a little bit, it's light, but if I push harder. I mean, that is pretty impressive, I have to say, for like this is like effectively free with your with your Mac. If you buy a Mac, it just comes with it. Also, if you notice on the top left, there's these little uh, downwards arrows. Those are instruments that are not in here, but you just pressed one. Kodo was actually had one of those symbols next to it. And I was like, oh, does that mean I could just push this and it'll put it in the computer? And it did. You just push it, boom. And then it's downloading a pipa. I don't even know what a pipa is. You wanna find out? Oh, I could, you, I mean, who just said, I, you could probably make an album on it. I for, for sure, 110% could do an album on this. For sure. It'd be, it'd be limited and it'd be, it'd be fun because it'd be limited. And it would be, I'll tell you the things that would be hard to do on it. Um, at least before I, you know, I don't know how many tracks I can get into it. I don't know how deep I can go before it starts like not processing audio properly. Uh, I can tell you that doing vocals on it would be difficult because um, what I expect, what I expect with um, with vocals is uh, what I expect with vocals is to be able to do what I need really is to do like um, multi tracks, like to do to be able to do playlists of vocals. Um, Anyway, let's look at this pipa. What's a pipa? Pippa. Pippa? It almost sounds like a banjo when you do it. <laughs> I don't like that they always put reverb on everything. And they do that to make it sound more like real, but. That's much better. I like that with no reverb. Uh, back to the Kodo, though. So, yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. All right, uh, I love the Kodo sound. Um, I think their string sounds are pretty good too. Actually, let's just take a look. Let's listen to. Let's keep our Kodo and then listen through some of these other things. So they've got a bass. They've got like actual live bass sounding things. <laughs> Kind of nice, all right, cool. Muted bass. Picked bass. Can 
Okay. Oh, upright bass. Tight. We could have used this the other day. What is it? Yeah, that's dope. Love that. Guitar. How about acoustic guitar? What's that sound like? Ooh, sounds pretty dope. Hard rock. This is going to be bad. Ready? Yep, it's super bad. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. I bet I could make this this classic guitar sound good, though. I bet I could. This sounds like weird, but I bet I can make that sound good. Mallet, okay, typical stuff. Brass, is there brass any better than what we worked with the other day? Let's, should I download the full brass? I don't want to mess with brass right now. Oh, okay, all of these are. So usually the orchestral stuff is really like hard on the computer. It's like, in order to make it sound good, it's like the files are huge. Um, I don't know if that's the case here. Oh, oh, orchestra kit. Okay. Oh. Santa Claus is coming. Some of these could be interesting. Oh, a little jingly jangly. I like the orchestral kit. Let's leave that up too. Let's make a new track. Um, so what I'm I'm doing right now is I'm I'm like kind of creating a palette. Like if you're gonna paint a picture. Um, oh, okay, so that was weird. Just now when I loaded that instrument, when I first pressed it. There was like a delay. It was almost like it was catching up to like, oh, you want to play this instrument or it hadn't loaded it all the way or something. Um, yeah. All right, there's a piano. We got a piano in it. That piano sounds pretty good, actually. Um, let's see what else. B3 organ. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, yikes. <laughs> and then you pull out these and it, it brings out different resonance listen that's how an organ works and adding a little distortion to it you get like nice like gospel like I like that reverb too. That's kind of nice, actually. I like that. Cool. Um, but I don't think we're gonna use that. Electric piano. Boom, boom, boom. Vintage Mellotron. Oh yeah, for sure that. Give that to me. Um, cello. Let's download the cello. Oh shit! I just downloaded them all. Wait, what? I just clicked on one for sure. All right. Well, it's about to download all of them. What's this? Synth Basics? Uh, yeah, continue. Oh, I hate stuff that sounds like this. Oh my God. Do you guys never hear me do that? I, I can find something good in so many plugins, but stuff that sounds like this, I don't, I can't take it. Okay, that's better. Nope, nope, got worse. Simpler is better. I like that better. By the way, on some of these, you can click on the thing, apparently. Click on the actual... Let's see if this one will do it. Controls? Oh, okay, yeah. So you can click on controls, and it'll do... You can like change the... 
the sound of it. Oh, weird. Okay. All right, that's okay. But yeah, I'm not sure. These will either be great or terrible. Not loving it. I like that one. And maybe. And nope. Yikes. Yuck. So this is really iffy to me. I bet if I went in here, I'd find stuff that I love, and there's a lot of stuff I can already tell I hate. Um, okay. And that's a taste thing. Like, it's not a rule. You just, just, you know, you find stuff that you personally are into. Oh, this is the vintage. Wait, maybe this is where I found my synth basics? Oh, yeah, this is totally going to be. Wait, I don't want the arpeggio on. Why is it on? This has got, like, an arpeggio on it. Okay. Yikes. That's actually... We're doing, we're also doing today, we're doing Blade Runner. So this is kind of a little modern take on that. We're ready to do our like M83. Let's see if we can find. Planetarium. Uh, maybe come back to that. All right, let's leave it on Planetarium. And let's make a new track. My co did my did my other one download that? Wow, the Mellotron is heavy. It's a lot of downloading going on. Um, let's see if there's another. Again with the fucking reverb delay turn it oh it's going to like the master okay so down here at the bottom apparently um see these two little there's plugins here so this is a window i found that um i guess like this top one is the plugin you're using and then these are the like effects on top of it so your 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 audio is coming from this top one and then going down through this chain, okay? So it first hits the compressor, then it hits the EQ. So if you were to do this, then first it'll hit the EQ, then it'll hit the compressor, okay? That's a basic thing to know. And you can move these around and you can add more. So like in between, I can it's showing me, oh, you recently used these, do you like these? And then it's got all these other plugins. You guys don't know how good you have it. This is, I'm gonna, just for a second, I'm gonna go like, hundred year old man like when i was your age bear with me this is awesome to be able to get a free basically a free piece of software on your computer that comes with this many options of things to do to the audio is so sick that is just awesome um and by the way and it's all about like going in here and learning okay this is what a chorus sounds like Okay. okay, what happens? Mix is always like, how much of it do you... The, to the left would be no chorus, and then you're blending it in, and this would be 100% just the chorus. So that's what your audio sounds like before. And here it is with the chorus on. Very subtle. However, let's try a flanger. So then nothing, and then with flanger. Okay, great. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. I wonder where my 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 eight bit sounds were from. I'm not gonna find them, am I? All right. Well, uh, let's go back and see real quick if the uh, Mellotron stuff is downloaded. It appears so. Check these bad boys out. Ooh. Stop with the reverb and delay. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. It's actually going through a pedal board effect. Oh shit, look at this. Okay, so these are like guitar pedals. I didn't even know they had this. This is cool. Okay, so let's, uh, the big power button, I'm assuming, turns everything on and off. Yeah, okay, so this is with nothing on. And then now I uh, I've turned it on, and I usually you just click these like you would click a regular guitar pedal. So you press that and press that. Um, let's see what some of these do. Let's see the roto phase. Oh, okay, this is like a mixer pedal. Oh, mixer pedal, and it shows like the phaser and EQ go into the mixer, and then the this once, okay, so the, the B you see here, that's like the top line of stuff, and the A is the bottom line of stuff, and then it's hitting your, your mixer pedal, and then it's combining those into one line of audio out into this delay, and then it goes to your ears, to your ear holes. Um, check this out. Yeah. Oh, that tape, that the delay is good. That's a good delay. I like that. True tape. Sounds like a space, like a space echo. And there's other ones. There's other, there's a, oh, there's an auto funk. Let's put the auto funk. Oh, and it just moves everybody over. Okay. I'd right click to get rid of this guy or just, oh, I just bring it over here. Okay. What's the auto funk do? Turn it on. I'm gonna turn the delay off. I'm not hearing much with the auto funk. Uh, what about a wah? How about that? Funky. All right. Um, wow, lots of stuff in here. You can go so deep. Um, what's the amp designer? We can do amps too? Pfft, forget it. They've got different microphones. So the, <laughs> usually with amp stuff, you get like what, you know, what kind of amp do you want to emulate? And these are, you know, when you start to, to know, I don't know that many of the amp um, names, but, um, you know, tweed, blackface, brownface, uh, you know, this is like probably like a, a Marshall cab, um, from American, right? Um, the, I'm going to assume like high octane is usually like a rectifier or something like that. So these are all like different types. I wonder which one would be like an orange. I'm going to say sunshine. Dude, so intuitive. That is an orange. So this is their emulation of an orange amp, which is the one I use in the, like one of the ones I love in the other room. Um, so that's if you turn on the amp and then there's the orange speaker and you can decide where to put your microphone. Look at that in front of the can. So this is right in front of the speaker. And this is what happens if you move it away and off to the side. Sounds different. You can choose your different microphones. This is all just emulating. What's great about this stuff, by the way, is that by doing this, by doing like, uh, I've never fucking used this before, like in this, and I know intuitively, I know where the stuff is. Part of it is because like, if you don't know how to play chess and then you pick up an iPad and you start to play it and the, the, the app will say, oh, that's not a move you can do. Like you're, you're moving a knight. A knight can only move to these certain spots. So you learn very quickly, like you play it for, you know, half hour and you learn which, which moves can be made with which pieces. This is the same thing where once you start playing with something like this, you go, oh yeah, I, for a sound like this, I like the sound of an orange amp with a, a 121 ribbon microphone. And you'll remember, oh, that's, that's the microphone I always use on that plugin. And then you go into a studio and you'll mic up an actual amp with an actual 121 and you'll go, Oh, you, chances are you'll go, oh, that sounds even better than the thing I'm used to. Um, but this emulates a thing and it teaches you, it starts to teach you about the combination of elements and they carry, it carries over to any software you use in any studio situation that you're in. Um, you realize like these are not, it's not just teaching you things inside of this program, it's teaching you things that are applied to like being actually in the studio. 
So we are in, uh, we are using a 121, actually use, let's use a 57 um, on the cab and let's put it like right in the middle. Let's see, a little closer. Okay, great. Let's turn it off. Oh, I don't like the pedal board. What's on that phase? Let's put that after the amp. Interesting. This one has a reverb on it too. I don't want to turn that on. Okay, cool. Um, just real quick, I'm just curious here. Oh, if I do that, I'm going to change everything, huh? Um, ah, there's another blend button here. So to the left is the string section. To the right is boys choir. Here, let's turn these off real quick. So there's the boys choir. <sighs> Great, sounds good. Um, and you can flip the transpose it, apparently. Right, and then blend it with the strings. Let's flip that to flute. This is this instrument is a Mellotron. So whenever you see Mellotron, it's basically it's based on uh, tra traditionally certain samples. So these are the certain samples. This is a collection of some of the sounds you would usually find on a Mellotron. Um, great, we've got good sounds. Okay. Drums. Uh, these were the drum sounds that um, I was finding. Um, you find them under electronic drum kit. If you do drum kit, drum kit, uh, then you get live stuff, so. Oh, a clap. I have to remember this. This drum kit sound is actually very good. I like it. It's great. And apparently there's all these other ones. I'm curious about these. I should download them all. <laughs> I started doing, doing, doing my drums in GarageBand. I like that Portland one. It's really good. I don't have anything that sounds like that. Come on. Electronic drum kit, very, lots of stuff in here. They're all individual. Think of these as all like different. The, you know, the icon on the top left is, a, is an MPC. So the idea is that they've loaded this theoretical MPC with a bunch of very specific samples. You know, somebody, somebody picked out. Um, so after party, let's see here. Uh, it's already too techy. Oh, I like that. I don't like the kick, but some other good stuff. I might, I, that sound right there is cool. Can I go lower? No, it's just there. That kick sucks. I don't like that kick. These are, they've mixed up like very techy modern sounds like these guys. Right, but then the, if you just use these, it sounds like more vinyl and like analog. Like that could be a Dilla song, but this can't be. Right? Um, FYI, somebody said I'm like a guy in a record store right now. Going to Guitar Center and Sam Ash or whatever with me is horrible. I am the worst. I will try, I will play everything in the fucking store. I, and by the way, the only thing that would be worse than that is if I did it with the volume turned up. At least I know myself. I know that I have respect for the employees more than enough to like not make the, all the noise. Like the worst person in the universe is the guy that goes into like the, the guitar center and turns up the volume on the, and the amp or on the keyboard and just rages for like 20 minutes. Like nobody likes that guy. Nobody is impressed. He thinks that like he's doing it and somebody's going to walk in and discover him. That guy sucks. Don't be that guy ever. 
get a pair of headphones. Ask the guy at the, if you go up to the, to the cashier, to the desk at the, in the keyboard section and say, could I please have a pair of headphones? They will be like, they can't give you headphones fast enough. They're just like, oh my God, thank you so much for not turning that keyboard on as loud as it goes and shredding for an hour. Ugh, worst guy. All right, I like these. Oh, this is a different one. Ooh. All right, so we're back. Oh, yeah. This might work. This one was, this one is a good one. That's, I like that one. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't like that kick with this snare though. Okay. All right. Yes. The 78 is a specific uh, drum uh, unit, and so is the 808, obviously. Can I change the... Can I change the kick? Will it let me... This doesn't really sound like an 808. This, this is a very, like... The snares sound different than an 808 to me. This might work for Dilla as well. Okay. Do you have any good claps for this? These claps are kind of too big. Dilla, oh, Dilla used like these specific like messy claps a lot of the time. Almost there. I gotta find, I'm gonna tell you dub smash is not gonna be it. Oh, that's a little. Uh, maybe. Nope. These are cool, but. They, this is very, uh, they're good. They're very uh, bright. And like, they feel very poppy. Okay. They also feel very similar, those do. Wow. Okay. I can tell based on like the first few notes. So usually with drum sequencers, C, is usually a kick, as you can tell, and then like D and E are snares. Usually uh, E flat is a snare, and usually D flat is a stick. So you can get a sense of what kind of um, kit you're working with just from those notes. So right there, you know that that's basically like a trap, rap, 808 kind of th situation. And that's a more vintage version of it. But we found out that Crate Digger, predictably, is kind of the vibe. After Party wasn't bad because uh, of that sound. And this clap might work. Might need to do two. I might do, does one of you has a really good kick? That one's a good kick. Okay, Beat Machine might be our jam. I might do two of them though. I might do Beat Machine and, um, which one, After Party? I really did like that and the hi-hat. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, Koto, 
What do we have? Where's our metronome? Here it is. Something like that. Quantizing to eighths. Let's go sixteenths. Oh, and it just moved it. All right. Um, I did already decide I wanted to be an E minor. This thing will like if you you kind of have to tell the 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 software what you're doing in a way that the other programs don't. Um, I chose a key up here. You don't have to choose a key in usually the other software. Like you, you can if you want to, but in GarageBand, it wants you to do that. Um, by the way, if I and down here on the quantize in the bottom left, I noticed that it'll remember what I played and how I played it. So I can actually, as I slide this, it's it's this is no quantization. Like it doesn't fix any of my notes. And then if I turn it up, it's fixing them a bit. So I'm probably gonna wanna really pay attention to that. Can I just like use my keys to slide this note around? I can't. Oh, car, so I gotta place it. I have to also decide what happens in the second half of this phrase. Um, oh shit, I forgot. Um, Anna wanted me to let you know that apparently we have a last minute uh, giveaway. We have a last minute giveaway um, on the channel today. Um, I believe, let's see here. I believe Mackie has given us another uh, microphone. So the Mackie mic that we gave away as part of the bundle the other day, they're going to give away another one. So whoever wins it, assuming you have a, if you have a Mac laptop and you have GarageBand, then you've got, then you'll have a microphone and then all you need is a keyboard and you're all set to do what I'm doing today. What? Pretty sick. I like that it just like merged the two performances together right away. Okay. Um, so check this out. Now I'm going to do a second phrase. 
and it's going to have higher notes over top. Trying to find a nice Second to last note I don't like. Yeah. Let's just do that. It's a little simpler, but. So that's our B, that's our B section, Koto. Um, can I rename it? No, what happened? It looks like I split it. That could be bad. Uh-oh. I've uh, got to run an ad real quick. We'll see you guys in a second. Um, let's see what happened here. Oh, I got to redo. There we go. Oh, so this runs in real time. I wasn't paying attention to that. It's running. Oh, we got a level three hype train. Are you guys hype right now? Are you hype? I love it. Subs, gifts, and cheering with bits. Thank you, guys. Um... How do I make this? Maybe do so, so I'm sure some of you in the chat use um, GarageBand. Um, how do I get it to not follow? Oh, there it is. That's the button. God, that's intuitive. That's crazy. Um, well, I don't want it to do this scrolling thing. That's going to drive me crazy. Um, so, yeah. There we go. And now it's not. <clears throat> okay. And this is the little zoom in, zoom out. All right. Bottom thing down here is velocity. Um, rename. There we go. Kodo 2. Can I change the color? Oh, look at that. So they all automatically loop. All right. Let's go back here. All right. Um, let's move this guy down here. And let's make this have, we'll start our beat right here. Oh, I never did like a bass, like a subby bass thing. Okay.
Let's do that. Okay, so that's eighth note. Let's switch that to sixteenth, and let's turn the strength of it way down. All right. So, yeah, so if you look, I turn the quantize way down so that you can see, especially like right here, I'm late on behind the beat, and that's what I want. I want a lot of feel with this, this situation. Okay, I like it. Um, can we bus stuff to another? Can we group or bus? Let's find out. That's arrangement track. What's that? Oh, I don't want that. I don't need that. Do I need that? Oh, we're naming parts. Oh, okay. Let's name parts. How okay, I can't make it smaller? I have to stop the track to do that? I do. You can't name things while you're in play mode. So this is the verse, okay. And then this will be, next part will be the, the chorus, sure. Whenever you see a little loopy thing like that, that means it loops. So we'll do that twice. All these guys, can I do more than one? Let's find out, this and this, let's see. I can, I can. If I had, I'm sure if I had an Apple mouse where you could like just swipe that, um, I'm sure I could just swipe around in this. Um. Oh, can I click and do it? Oh, sneaky. Okay, so shift and scroll is a uh, left to right scroll, which I will need on this, uh, in this situation. I can also grab these guys and um, let's see. 
Yeah, I can command drag them usually. So command drag. Oh, nope. Let's see. Command shift drag. Nope. Got to find a way to. To take. There we go. Okay, so option drag gets them over there. Got it. I'm in. <laughs> Let's put something. Let's get, let's let's mix a little bit while we go. Um, okay, so on this guy right here, um, they have all these options for. Interesting. Can dirty up the hi hats hi hat stick combo. Let's listen to the beat one. Same deal. Um, overdrive. I'm gonna darken that a tiny bit. Let's put a little compressor on it. I don't like that this compressor doesn't have any kind of visual. I mean, you have to use your ears, which is fine, but I don't like, I don't like that. And there's all these settings. Ugh. Ew, ay yeah, yeah. Stop, so loud. Okay, go back to, uh, oh boy, look at all this. Hmm. Okay. It really wants to crush those drums. All right, I'm into it. That's pretty good. All right. got a one thing in front of the other can I merge it is the question join regions can I do this way 
join regions. Dude. All right, great. Okay, cool. Let's put a little something on the master channel. So I'm gonna put, um, this has something on it? No, it's flat, okay. So on their master channel, They've got um, EQ, compressor, exciter, another compressor, and a limiter. Um, right now, everything's basically off. Um, I'm going to put one of the compressors on and see what we can do with the overall shape of the track. That already is sounding pretty good, actually, just turning it on. Oh, cool. Oh, I see. This is so. This window over here is a combination of these effects that are on the left. This is window on the right to make things to make life easier for you. Okay, and the brightness is the exciter, of course. Okay, I don't think we need any of that limiter. Let's see what that does. Okay. All right, we'll just put the compressor and the limiter on for now. Give it a smash. We'll come back to those. Put that in the chorus. Kit, we're gonna put a little. Uh, we're gonna put. Where's the mix window for this guy? Let's find out. Oh, look, we've got the score. I am impressed. I like it. I feel like this is like a lot of good stuff going on here. What kind of questions do you guys have for me on this track so far? No fairies? What do you mean fairies? Oh, no fairies. Sorry, you guys. The, the, the jingly jangly sound is part of the vibe for me today. They're just too loud. If I could turn them down individually, I would, but I can't. That's part of the issue of this um, setup with this. At least I don't think I can turn down the individual um, samples. Let's go back over here. Can I just like... Come on. Oh, I was in record, that's why. All right, so let's go back over here.
I'll do less than that since you're not feeling that. Is that the vibe? You turn down the. Oh, you like them. Some somebody else didn't like them. I just just keep them turned down, and we'll be all right. Um, how do I get back to the? mix window oh there we go i gotta double click on that okay fine so this is our eq like a normal all standard stuff slope is come on ah there we go All right, so let's say we move on. Let's say we move on from this part. Oh, that was the one thing I did need is like a bass, like a low sub thing. Uh, so a sub. Uh, synthesizer. got to go to a new thing then I need a new a new vibe let's keep let's keep these two going let's keep this one and this one let's actually maybe I take maybe go into this one and Maybe a new snare. We'll find out if there is one.
was there. this was an E minor it's actually oh shit if I change this, this is gonna change everything watch it did fuck all right so I gotta leave it in A minor We're in record, huh? Little, let's see if we can automate a thing here. Thank you. 
let's see if we can automate a filter that brings this up as it rolls. So that's a very Ableton, that's something I'm super familiar with in Ableton. Let's see if uh, GarageBand can do it. Um, what do we, I'm gonna just take a quick second and check in with you guys. What do you think of this so far? And uh, what are we, uh, let's see what data, I'm saving it as well while we do this. Dilla Blade Runner. Uh, actually, I should save it in the. Well, anyway, I should save it somewhere else. Hang on one second. Um, put it where I put the other stuff from the live streams. There you go. It's all MIDI, too. I haven't recorded any audio in, so that's interesting. Um, are we, how are we, how are we feeling? Japanese parts fire, great. God, you like that. I'm surprised that Kodo, I'm impressed with GarageBand, man. That's the thing is like, you tell people, oh, it's, you know, like you can make good music in the most basic software. Um, I mean, not to pat myself on the back. I like this, but the point is that it's like, if you were to be following along with this and basically doing your ver trying you know doing exactly what this is or doing your own version of it like you could make this stuff you know I'm not it's not crazy um anything else like I I'm starting to do the evangelist thing now um so I think I've hit all the all the stuff um what does the wheel say? We're gonna check with the wheel. Let's check with the wheel. Should we? Are we gonna gamble on the wheel? Gambling's on. Actually, gambling's on, but don't use that because that's a different kind of gambling. Um, let's check with the wheel. Got to play the track while we do the wheel. All right. Here's the wheel. Let's see what the wheel says. What do you think, wheel? What do you think, Wheel? Needs less. Oh, it's too complicated for the Wheel. Wheel says too complicated. All right, all right, all right. Fine, Wheel. Maybe. I actually, I am curious about this, this, this uh, filter automation, though. So. If I look here, I'm seeing note velocity. There's like a thing. So this little this little symbol looks like automation to me. So I clicked that, um, and there's a thing that says controller. Um, these seem to be MIDI controls in, not out. So let me go to our. I want to do it to the arena run thing. And. Cut off. Dude, it's that easy. It's that easy. Hold on. How do I make a looped section? Okay, hold on. You need to delete that. How do I make a looped section into a not looped section? want it to loop I want I want the well I mean maybe I can do that hold on hold on let's see if I can automate it from down here and keep it going this way no I can't all right huh it seems like this guy is yeah I affected this cutoff right here okay um do I do join? Is that? It does that. Wow. Okay. So. Um, so I guess I join. What is it? Control J? Yeah. And control J the whole thing. 
and then I go to uh, click on the what is it on the MIDI? Um, all right, that's not that's not super difficult. All right, so cut off. If I go to cut off, cut off is the filter cut off, and I can just double click or I can single click on it say right there where it hits the halfway point I want it to stay where it is but in the beginning when it first comes in I want it to be down wow it's kind of bouncing around all right let's see if resonance if I do resonance too that would be interesting section. Now we're in the next section here. We should probably do... I want I want it to, to like fade in and do that and then fade out. So stop uh, running. So what happens is when you loop it, it grabs the automation from the top end of the loop as well. So you gotta go in and like adjust it. So like that's how the, this over here at 33 is where 25 started, if that makes sense. So I gotta double click on this and do the opposite, have it. It's gonna come in and then it's gonna go away. All right, all right, garage van. You think we can automate like a like a delay? Let's see if we can automate a delay. Do the same thing that I just did with the filter, but do it with a delay. Um, there isn't a delay there. Let's see. I uh, don't have one on the track, so let's add one. So we go down here, add a delay. I really like that pedal board one. I mean, let's let's go there and see if it's whoa. There's so many more pedals. What the hell? How did I not know about all these? Look at that. Look at the monster fuzz. Wow. Woo! Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. That's nasty. Okay, hold up, hold up. I fucked up. I didn't want to do that. I want to get rid of this one. How do I get rid of it? No plugin. Okay, and put the flanger up. Put the what's on the EQ? Nothing. Okay, pedal board's gonna go there. And then the EQ. I don't actually need the EQ. I just need a filter. Um. Right. <laughs> So when this starts, is it starting loud then? No, it's not. It's going in through the pedal board, which is great. And then we got to find that tape echo flange factory. These, what? Wait, what happened to my pedal board? My pedal board lost my monster fuzz. There's the fuzz. Wow, it lost it. That's not good. When I moved the pedal board, it deleted the effect I have on it. What if I had spent like a half an hour m like making an effect? 
That would suck. I guess I could undo and hope that it came back. All right, well. All right, back here. All right. That's dope. I like that sound a lot. All right, let's see if we can do now. Let's see if we can automate this stuff. This is this is maybe a tall order. Smart controls, mix, mix, mix. Richness attack used. Okay, let me see. If I double click on this guy, can I? Hmm. Okay. Um, I am not seeing a way to what are these mixes attached to it doesn't tell me all right um i guess i could send it to the master echo and reverb please the master echo oh, i don't know what that's all about okay I really want to automate this filter right here. How do we do that, you guys? <laughs> do, you, do you know? I don't know how. I don't know how to automate this filter. Press A, A. What do you mean, A? Just like click on it and press A? Uh, okay, so am I in the... Um, in the here it is the filter, cut off. A, A. Well, hold on. So where? Oh, there's the line. Okay. Wow, you guys. Look how easy it is with the Garage Band experts in the house. It just becomes everything becomes easier. This was the same phenomenon that happened when I was in when I was doing um, Animal Crossing. Everybody was like, "Oh, just do this." I'm like, "What?" Yeah. Um, okay, I think I want to put it there and there and like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, right here would be cool. Let's see if we can bring in, um, bring in, bring in the drum loops. Remember I was talking about drum loops? I love that there's people in here who are like really good at GarageBand and they're sitting here just like watching me going like, oh, when is he going to figure out about this? Oh boy, so it added friggin' drums to everything. No thank you. No thank you, guy. Let's just go over here. Uh -huh. So I, ch I was picking through those earlier, figuring out what they were, and um, I found uh, Maya. So they've, the way they do it is they like, they like, um, give names to your drummers. So, like for example, Maya. When Maya gets on a drum kit, Maya does this. Go Maya. But if you, but if Aiden gets on the drum kit, so here that's this was Maya up on the top left. But if A put Aiden on the kit, then that's what Aiden likes to play. But then you put D Dylan or well, Duncan on the kit. This fucking guy, that's what he does. 
What about a, uh, a rock drummer, Kyle, plays pop rock? How boring, Kyle. You're such a Kyle. Come on, Kyle. Magnus. Oh, shit. Here we go. He's lit that literally is like the Daft Punk. <laughs> Don't yuck his yum. Sorry. Sorry. It's Leah. Okay, Leah. Jasper. What's Jasper do? No, I don't like it. Ronnie. Ronnie's doing way too much. And Julian is... No, no, no. Get Julian out of here. Okay, Des. This is Anton. Anton makes beats that sound like every like they sound like a like a kid's toy commercial from 1996. It's like Tony the Tiger is going to come and start rapping about frosted flakes. They're great. Fuck Anton. <laughs> oh, I would I hesitate to download any of these other ones. Because you can, right? You download all their little like MIDI and let's see let's see what Benny. I, we don't have an R and B one, so Benny's style pays homage to classic Motown. He plays tight, funky beats with minimal fills on a vintage kit, it says. In case you couldn't read. I don't know what what's your I don't know what my frame rate is looking like right now. If you guys can see this nonsense. Um, who did we like? Ky we liked Kaya. Kyle was the best. Uh, I have no, no chill. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look, I just, I can't suffer fools. Okay. I don't have the time and the, and the like space in my life to mess with to mess with the Kyles of the of the world. I mean, that's why I had Maya up in the first place, right? I've had Maya up because Maya was she was doing this thing. What's in the SoCal kit? There's a little pause. <laughs> but when she gets on a on the like one of these kits. I'm just saying. Wow, Benny takes a long time to download. I'm scared of that. Here's Kyle. Let's. What happens if we put Kyle on? <laughs> well, we put Kyle on this. Kyle. Kyle. So, you know, I feel bad for Kyle. All right, but but in context though, in context. Oh, there's no swing. Uh-oh. Can we teach? Can we teach? Will Leah listen to me? Will she do more more swing if I ask her to? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at all this. These are all the styles. Hold up. Okay, hold on, hold on. Swing. Dude, come on. Get it, Leah. Okay, Leah. Aren't we glad we hired Leah? Like we had a few drummers walk in and play. 
And then we and Leah walked in, and we were just like, "Damn, it's so simple, but it's so has so much flavor." And she's wearing those sunglasses. I don't know if you could see that, but she came in into the studio, which was already dark, and she was wearing sunglasses. We're just like, "Well, I don't know. I either love the sunglasses in, in, indoors thing, or..." Back up. Let's back the fuck up. Let's back up all the way to the tippy. Woo! Oh, we didn't record in any any audio. You said that was a th that was possible. That I was allowed. Quick key for this loop button up here. What's the quick key to turn thing turn loop mode on? <laughs> oh, I did find it find out how to do um, this this right here. Hold on. If I take this and can I just double click up here or I don't know how to do it. Quick key for loop. Quick key for I don't know. Let's see if we can watch this. If I double click on it, you can transpose it. Hold on, don't crash. Takes it a second to think. So I, I pitched it down on the bottom left. I pitched it down four. It's transposed down, so now it's all low. Oh yeah, our chime. Was the the mellow chimes was uh, the like Dracula? Hold up. <laughs> uh, hold on. Okay. Let's 
see if it works on the chorus. Not sure. Sure. That works. Let's do a little, uh, let's do another, another live instrument. I feel like that shaker really was cool. Um, and tambourine. Oh, we did on the other day. We did it. We did. Yeah, that was that's a thing. Let's put, a, put that on there. Just loop. I'm gonna loop just as transitions. This is gonna be a little annoying for me for a moment, but bear with me. buggy when it comes to certain plug you moving plugins around it's a little buggy so what I'm doing is trying to make sure this sits in a nice like spot ears open for stuff that's just like accidentally uh, happens that I think is cool. Just, 
you know, it just accidentally happened and it sounded good. I like that. And if we grab four bars of it and then loop the four, and then does it continue to happen after that? Too swingy. Strangely, I thought it was gonna be not not enough swing, but now I think it's too much swing. This guy. Let's make it not swing. Put a little like effect on on Leah. A little like I don't know. I think we might need to be a little more, we might need to get to this part a little more gently. So it might need to be more before it and then more of it afterwards. And then we can vibe on that. Uh, we're gonna run an ad real quick and come right back. For those of you um, who are still with me, what is the, uh, what, do, what do you want me to do from here? What do you want me to do? Add time. Yeah, it needs to add like it needs to be longer at the end. Oh, give a heads up to the raid. That's a good point. I gotta do that as well. Yeah. Um oh, let me grab that real quick. Who do we wait we raided uh we raided who did we raid yesterday? Was it um Colors, yeah. Okay, good. So the the one that I have at the top of the list for the raids is Solati Solative 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 S zero L A T I V E. Um. Oh, we got a raid. Hi, hi, raiders. Raiders are coming in to get a commercial. No. Uh, raiders, what's up? We were just deciding, first of all, we're, we've got a raid at the end of this stream in an hour or so. Uh, S0LITIVE is the, the one that, um, that was requested in the, uh, using Shinoda Bucks. Um, for those who are just joining us on the raid, we're doing a jam today. I don't usually use GarageBand, but today I'm doing 
a track in GarageBand. Um, let's listen to the track so far for the new Raiders and to kind of get a feel of like what I should add next, okay? So here's from the top. So we requested, I got the request of Japanese instruments and Dilla. So the Dilla Nujabis kind of style comes in here. Then we have Vangelis uh, Blade Runner style comes in after. Violins need some, uh, they need some reverb. I'm gonna take the pedal board stuff off here. Yeah, this needs to take longer to get to. And then it'd stay longer on this. Total change of vibe right there, which is kind of cool. I like that. Okay, so, all right. Um, let me just fix this. I just, in this section here, I, how do I, how do I just click and add a, the loop? Can I just do that? I just click here. Oh, well, that's close but um yeah you can i mean i feel so bad for people that actually use garage band and are watching me flail around at it like i know how making a track works but i don't know where all the buttons are on garage band <laughs> um i just wanted to add some uh like stereo reverb um on this Mellotron part. Hold up. Maybe it's spring. Huh. Not really doing it. Alright, you know what? There isn't a lot of reverb in this pedal board situation, so let's do it from let's space designer. Okay. Well, I'm kind of a long reverb. That's not quite it. Try platinum verb. Nope. I can already tell it's not long enough. Silver verb. That's pretty long. I gotta figure out how long the um, how long the uh, end section goes. We have a very important question from Anna Shinoda um, for the chat. All of you 
It, I got, I got it. So the the question is about Animal Crossing. The question is, um, if you want a certain islander to come to your island and you buy that, can you buy like an amiibo card to get that islander on Animal Crossing New Horizons? So they, all these people have all this stuff so they're selling on eBay and whatever. Um, it, which, which cards work? Which cards are the ones? If you don't know, don't, don't confuse me. Buy an amiibo and invite them through. Why do you have to invite them? Can't you just get the card and use it? If you don't know, don't confuse, don't answer. Don't confuse me with stuff. But if you've done it, you got to tell me which, which. Some villagers haven't been released yet. Okay. Um, yeah, you can't. I would love to just have them come to the campsite, but the campsite is randomized. So, um, you got to, is it, is, because the only cards, when tap it on your trigger, what does that mean? What villager do you want? Okay, here we go. We get some people who know what they're talking about, apparently. Um, you have to invite them. To get them to stay, you have to invite them multiple times. Amiibo brings them to the campsite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, we, Amiibo puts them in the campsite and you have to sit there and like play games with them and like, you know, do the whole thing. But the problem is we, we want a specific, specific islander out of the 260 something islanders that are possible there's one that showed up and then it got locked into here is the situation you guys anybody who plays this game actually if you don't play this game you can kind of appreciate this if your island's full of islanders and somebody comes to your island that that visits your island and is like i want to move here then in order if it's full, then in order to get them to move in, somebody else needs to get kicked out. But if you don't know the trick, there's a, there's a hack to like getting them to choose different ones. It, we didn't know that as of this morning. So that, an islander showed up, a camp, camper showed up and was like, I want to move here. And the island's full. It chose our favorite islander to kick out. And we were like, no, you can't. Any other islander would have been fine. You can kick anyone else out, just not that one. And then once it was locked in, it was locked in. So now you couldn't, then, then we had to let the island, let, get the, let the camper go. But we're hoping to get the camper to come back. We want the camper to come back so that um, now, we've, now we've pissed off one of the other islanders and they're going to move away. So once they move away, we'll have an open house and then the, that we want that islander to come back and take that house. Um, the islander that we like was Flurry. Flurry. And I found one on it wasn't my island. Lily's not going anywhere. Don't worry. It's, it's, Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so so we we want Flurry to come to the island. Um, it's so common. So okay, so we're gonna look it up. So it is possible. Use the card and then do the whole ask questions thing at the campsite. Correct, right? Yeah. Flurry has an amiibo card. Okay, is it? But I found one on eBay. But I'm worried that what if it's fake? Like, what if it doesn't work? Are there fake ones on eBay? Can we? Is there a way to verify that the one we buy on eBay or whatever is legit? I mean, why would you sell? I feel like it's just an amiibo card. Why would you sell? But it's probably legit. It's, very important. it's only like how much do they cost? So the one on eBay is seventeen dollars. The one on Amazon that's through like a card place is like forty dollars. Okay, it's seventeen dollars on eBay and forty bucks on a car from a card place from like a comic sh book shop or type of thing. On why do they cost so much? Well, because they know they know that people are like ah. Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. It's good to know from the experts on my channel that um, it is possible and they work. 
and we gotta. I'm, okay, I'm Anna's gonna go figure it out. I'm gonna take okay. a chance, and I'm gonna buy it. You're gonna order the seventeen dollar one, one and go for it. One. We'll see. All right, all right. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna join these two guys and make this section longer. Okay. Um, these are the important decisions that get made here. There's also, by the way, there's that, there are those cheat apps. Wait, is there, do any of you use a, um, one of the apps that cheat and like give you a, um, give you a, uh, the Amiibo code? Do you, any of you use them or any of them good and reliable for like for Mac? Cause we're on. Some of them are on Android or whatever. Don't use them? Okay, don't use them. Besides, that's like, I feel like that's like, um. <laughs> Stop cheating. I, it's not for me. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I want to get it, by the time it gets here, I want it to be, okay, can I just grab this whole thing and move it? Oh, I can, I can. That's very, very good. Um, wow, tight, okay. And then that's the cutoff, and then... Well, I just go in here to press, just press A, dude. Just friggin', can I grab this bit, this piece? No, no. Wow, that's good, that's good. Okay. And then right there, I want to cut these. How do I split T? T. Oh, okay. I don't want that one. I want this one. No, no, no. All right, let's split this one as well. I want half as much of that. Okay. Um, let's do Shite. It's a little difficult here. Oh, fuck. That. And then this gotta go. And then this guy. Go. So this one can keep going. There we go. Okay. So we want this one to also go super quantized. So up until this point, by the way, just a decision making, you know, uh, moment here. Up until this beat where the the this new drum loop thing comes in, I'll move this up to here. So these three things right here are all drum beats. Up until this point, these this guy and, the, and this guy in here isn't quantized like barely. Like if you look down the bottom, it's strength eleven not really quantized, and then as soon as the other beat comes in, I push that all the way up to 100. So you're not gonna really notice that this is like sloppier and looser, and then it hits here and it tightens up all the way because it has to in order to be 
uh, to, to sit well with that new yellow loop. Let's really get these guys going. I feel like it needs a, a, a 16th count, like. latency in here than I would have expected. It's pretty like pretty good. We get into more trouble. I'm mean, part of that is because I'm using all stock plugins. Um yeah, you know? I think that's that's part of it. Should I keep this beat going and do something new underneath underneath it? start a whole new thing. That's like a whole new song. I'm just going to take out the hi-hat here. All right, that's the song. I'm gonna do one more part here. I'm gonna call that bridge. I'm gonna call that outro. Okay. Um, that's the song. That's the song. Wow. Made a song and made a song in Garage Band. Water, have some water. Yeah, we'll do some questions. And no Kyle's allowed in the questions. If you're a Kyle, you're not allowed to ask any questions. I don't mean Kyle like it's literally your name. Because you could be named Kyle and not really be a Kyle. If you know what I'm saying? Pretty sure that's the case. Oh, I don't mean Kyle, don't yuck. You're saying, Ali is saying, don't yuck Kyle's yum. Listen, I don't mean Kyle like an actual person named Kyle. I mean like the essence of a Kyle. Yeah. What is a Kyle? 
Look, if you have to ask what a Kyle is, I don't know if you belong here. Because we literally, like, I, th I think to some degree we invented Kyle just now, like today. I know there, there are Kyles in the world, but... Where is the master? How do I get to the master? Is it here? Master. Boom. Okay. Can I just... Is this post master? Can I just do this and... Be, it'll be post master, post limiter and all that? I think so. Okay, cool. Sounds like it's still compressed and everything. Um, what a day. What a great thing to do. Maybe we'll do more garage band tracks, huh? Try and do a garage band track with some live instruments. That could be crazy. It could be bad. Um, yeah, we'll try some, we'll do some more garage band. We'll do some more garage band. I like this. I like this little garage band situation. It's got good sounds. Why the heck not? It's very accessible for you. You know, you don't need to use expensive gear to make music. What the fuck? Why would you, why would that be the case? People sat around with rocks and sticks and made music. You don't need to do all that. It's nonsense. Now, granted, some of the things that I do, it'll be really hard to do with uh, GarageBand and without, I mean, I may need to be able to use machine <laughs> or something or be able to use loops. But let's push garage, GarageBand a little bit. Let's stretch, let's stretch GarageBand and see what, see what we, we, we can come up with. Um, let's see here. Whoa, why is some of the, that's weird. Why are some of my items in the store changing to, huh, okay, hang on one second. That's weird, okay. Um, got some questions that have been redeemed. Nice to see so many people showing up for the questions portion of the show. Is this a show? It's a, if it is, it's a weird version of a show, isn't it? Um, but I feel like in a sense, it's kind of like its own. It's also like there's an element of like, I was saying to somebody, it's almost a little bit like a super modern and weird like version of jazz. Like, cause jazz is like all about improvisation and all that stuff. And it's, this is like, I don't know where this crap is gonna go over the course of the stream. No idea. And so like, I'm largely just making it up as I go, pun intended. Um, I guess no, I guess pun not intended. Um, anyway. Let's answer, let's answer some questions. Let me see if any of you guys asked any appropriate questions today. Um, Summon Gray Fox says, I love the stream. Like rushing home to watch your favorite show as a kid. See, you said show too. I'd love to learn piano, but no idea what to buy. I have a large flat desk, a decent budget, no sheet music, and a powerful PC. Um, honestly, if you... I, I was impressed by the by the piano in this in GarageBand. Like if you just open a if you get a basic music software program and it's got good um, like what's the word um, like I don't know like little, little latency. Like this is pretty good. Like you can start to learn you know. It works. So why not? Like you might need to get a, a keyboard with um, a pedal. You need a sustain pedal. Um, and that's what I recommend, Gray Fox. Um, K 
keyboard with a sustain pedal and then just use a VST, if, unless you want to use an actual piano. But if you don't, if you that's what you've got, then I just go straight to like whatever's the easiest and the least expensive. Um, plus, as I, I, my understanding is that some of these like uh, GarageBand might be one that has lessons. Like you can actually turn on piano lessons in GarageBand, I think. Um, so that's cool, right? Um, okay, so <laughs> the hunting soldiers ask, asks, ask, hey Mike, could you show us how to play Brad's keyboard part during blackout on the virus? Um, you should Google it. Just Google it. I had to, I mean, I don't remember what the part was. It certainly, um, not anything really like difficult because Brad doesn't really play keyboard and I had to like teach him how the part went. <laughs> but he's, he could pick out a melody, like he's fine. He just, you know, he knows, he was doing, literally taking piano lessons uh, during One More Light, like the, during the One More Light sessions because he hadn't ever taken them before and he wanted to learn more about like how chords get put together on the piano. Um, and yeah, he learned a lot very quickly because he already knew guitar. So once you already know an instrument, it's like once you learn a language, if you learn another language that's that relates to the initial language, then you learn it faster. Um, okay, uh, Moker B says, hey, Meek, do you still have all the Rising Tide song projects saved somewhere? Uh, also, what's your approach for backing up files? Bless you and have and hope you have an awesome day. Thanks, dude or person. Um, thanks. I, uh, I have the, the, the sessions from the Fort Minor records, but they're in old Pro Tools sessions and they don't open on new Pro Tools. So I have had, there were times when I had to like get, like send them out to somebody who could open them and bounce stems. And it was a nightmare. I bounced a lot of stems at that point just so I could have stems, but I can't, I li can't literally go in because uh, most of the plugins that I used to mix those tracks are now uh, obsolete. Um, and in terms of backing up files, it's the same thing. Like, you know, try and stay organized, uh, multiple hard drives. One thing to do is like to make sure that if you can afford it, back up to two hard drives, especially if you get to the point where, oh, you filled up one hard drive, put all of that on a backup and then put the backup somewhere separate from the original. Um, there are also services online that will do it if you're comfortable with putting your music on a service on a, on a remote um, hard drive, um, then go ahead, go for it. I'm personally, I can't do that with like Linkin Park stuff. That's, that would be inappropriate, that'd be crazy. But um, so I'd back up to two separate physical hard drives and then one stays here and then one goes somewhere else in like a fireproof building. <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's see. Looking through some of these questions here. RT asks, what will happen to the tracks that are not included in the instrumental album? I haven't decided yet because I'm not gonna be able to release everything and I don't think that all the tracks, I personally don't love all the tracks and I wouldn't want all of them. Some of them are better than others in my opinion and some of them are not like, if, you, if I put something in out out like in the then it's like attached to my name on spotify like like so imagine your name you know if you're me and your name on when somebody searches you on apple music is attached your name is attached to whatever's there right 
it's like posting ugly pictures on Instagram. And like, you're like, okay, well, I don't love that picture. I don't love that song. It, it's a thing that happened, but I don't want it to be on my, my Spotify page. Um, those, I don't mind you guys having them. So that's, that's the area where in between those two things, that's the area that I'll have to figure out. Like, see, <laughs> somebody said, put it under another name. That's funny. And you guys would know where to find it too. Um, but under Boris, <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> um, that is so funny. Holy shit. Oh, that is so funny. And then I can just put it up and it wouldn't matter. And um, dude person. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's a great idea. See, you guys come up with the good ideas like right away. That's a very, that's a very good suggestion. Um, yeah. Um, the other thing, the other idea is like at some point, maybe I can do like a special, like, I was thinking that it might, it, would, it might be dope to do like a special package, like for those who want like that stuff in like physical copy to do at some point, like everything in one, almost like a box set of garbage. <laughs> a box set of the good, the bad and the ugly, right? Like, like a box set of all the physical copies of everything and like, all the jams that aren't on Spotify and whatever. Um, I would totally do that. It's just also like, again, the, um, like, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the demand for that is. So I don't know what the, if it'll work to do, um, like, if it'll work to do how many copies? Like, what if I make, what if I make, you know, 500 copies of it and only a hundred people want to buy it. It's right. Some people are like, I don't have the money. I was like, I know if I'm going to put out a thing with all this stuff on it, then I have to figure out a way to make it special and cool and keep the price down and whatever. I don't know what that package would look like. Um, oh, Kickstarter. I could do a Kickstarter of it and then I do a Kickstarter of it and then and then would it be bad if I do a Kickstarter to also put the stuff up under a weird name on Spotify and whatever? You wouldn't mind because you people who buy the Kickstarter like get they have physical stuff. You have like a physical thing. Okay. What if I do it? I'll think about that. Okay. Generally, the, the chat is feeling this idea. Okay. Dude person. Why dude person? Why dude person? Is that did I miss the dude person joke in the chat? Why? Tortuga. Alright. Um I hope Anna's in the chat taking these notes down. <laughs> Uh, Matthew Stephen Pierce says, "I'm from, for, hey Mike, I'm from from Virginia. I'm a huge Clips and Pusha T fan. What was it like working with him on Good Goodbye? P.S. Thanks for the art shout out. And no, I don't make any obscene art. LOL. Um, Pusha, I've I've I didn't I wasn't in in the studio with him. Um, we did talk and, and like, I've, I've seen, I've met, I've seen him in person and we've had, we talked in person at like festivals and things. I think I've talked to him a couple times, but it was really short, really brief. And, um, it was like that, that I, I didn't, I wasn't in the studio with him. So unfortunately I would actually love, have loved to be there. Um, but you know, it was all about like tour schedules and all that stuff. So, um, Yeah. I've had just as much experience with Pusha T in the studio as you have, my friend. Um, he is a very talented rapper. Um, one of my, actually it's interesting cause he's really evolved into like much more than a rapper, right? He's like doing all kinds of like um, other 
creative endeavors and business and stuff. Kind of cool. Carrie Laya. Hey, Mike. Can you please rank the Lincoln Park guys from best to worst cook? Have a great day. That is an amazing, um, that is an amazing challenge. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm going to say that I don't have much experience. I've, I don't really know. Um, I've, Rob has never cooked for me. I've never eaten anything Rob has cooked, and I believe that's partially because Rob really does not cook. I don't think he, I don't think he can. And then same for Brad. I know Brad does cook, but he has so many restrictions that he doesn't like. I, I can't even wrap my head around it. So I'm gonna say number. I'm gonna say best cook. Chester was the best cook, probably best. And I'm going to say Joe is a close second. Probably me and Dave like tied underneath there. And then Brad and Rob. Pro probably in that order. I don't know. Like I literally don't know, but I don't, I've never even heard Rob say I'm going to cook a thing. At least I know that Brad does cook, even though what he cooks is like boiled chicken and pasta i'm just i'm just joking i'm making that up but yeah joe loves food and joe will cook joe's joe can cook like you ask joe to make some like korean like some galbi or something like pfft. he's had i've been i've been i've had galbi at his house and it like he 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 can cook he can grill um but that's also like Uh, I, I don't know what, well, I don't know what to make of that. Um, anyway, um, Katoda says the band released full length making ofs for Meteora, Minutes to Midnight and A Thousand Suns for not for the rest of the albums after that. Why did you guys stop making them? Um, I don't know why. I think we stopped filming as much in the studio and maybe there was a, I don't know why. I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> I don't think we put a ton of thought into it. I think we thought about it after and went like, oh yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't, we don't have enough footage of things. A Thousand Suns, we just, the, the process of making it was so complex and so like long that it didn't, like, I didn't feel like we could capture it. I know that Joe also went through a period there where he was like less is more in terms of like putting stuff out there. Like he wasn't a big fan of having as much behind the scenes stuff during that time. Um, um, ooh, Tater Tot just, um, just redeemed a channel to raid. I'll put that on my on my list. Where's my redemptions? Okay. Um, let's see what else we got here. I'm not really looking at the chat. I apologize. Let me just move these over, move this window over, so I can see the chat a little bit. Um. Jack Lively says, hey, Mike, you mentioned wanting to work with David Fincher. Would you ever contact him? He's my favorite director and you're one of my favorite artists. Thanks again. Jack, I, would, I, don't, I wouldn't know where to start because first of all, he obviously has a very like, he has a great relationship with Trent Reznor and he, he, he already does his scores a certain way. So I, I kind of feel like I can be a fan of him and not, I don't know, like it doesn't, I'm not gonna, I, I, I don't think that's how that works. I think he would have to ask me. Like I would be thrilled to get the call, but it, I don't think it's appropriate to go and, um, like if you're a, if you, if you, if Jack, you're a painter, 
um, or you're an artist or director or whatever, and somebody comes to you and says, I want to put my stuff in your art. You'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> like, my, my art is my art. Like, I, I have, I make my, whatever. It's like, you it would have to be the unique situation where you go like, oh, that's, that would really enhance my art. Do you know what I'm saying? The same reason, like, when people come to me and say, I want to collaborate or I want to do a thing, I'm kind of like, well, usually it should, like, either we have to have a mutually, like, Mutual, we certainly have to have mutual interest and in whatever. Um, doesn't hurt to ask, I guess. Um, sold my soul to LP says, are you a wine lover? What's your favorite type of wine? Thanks for the streams, you're the best. Um, I'm not a wine expert. I, I do, you know, I live, I've lived in California, so my whole life. So California, I'm, I'm familiar with Californian wines familiar with like the stuff from basically like um uh, the the uh, santa maria like s s the central coast central coast wines napa and central coast um one of the ones that i think is really great that's not super insane it's it's higher priced but it's like i'd say like it's in like the the 40 dollar 40 to 75 dollar range is like j lore i like a lot and there's one called tobin james they're from both both from up in uh, uh the like santa maria uh san luis obispo area um yeah i don't know i mean i'm i'm not a super duper wine fan i do drink wine but i don't um uh, you know what I've got? I'll tell you this. It's, oh, it's part of it is like there's so many good good wineries. I've got an app called Vivino, and whenever you taste taste a wine that you like, you take basically it's like wine Instagram. You take a picture of it, and it registers. It knows all the labels and all that stuff, so it registers. Okay, you saw this one. It was this brand, this type of wine, this year, etc. Here's the like. Here's how much it costs. Um, and here's what generally the, the rating of it is in the app. And it's pretty dope. Like it actually works really well. Um, and I tend to like reds, like bold reds. And so it's gotten a pretty good sense of what I like. Um, but, but a bottle of wine can be, you can get a, a nice bottle of wine for $20. It's, 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 that's not crazy. Um, yeah. Aliana Kite says, thank you for the drawing of Yoda Chu. Love your interpretation of the request question. You talked about older person things to do. What, uh, like we were talking about voicemails and stuff like that. Um, what old person things or slang do you do? Um, you tell me. What older person things do I do? Call me out in the, in the, hold the phone. I mean, there's certain things I do. There's certain things that I do because I know that they're, uh, I know that they're not, that the, the, the other people don't do. My slow typing. Yeah, I don't type super fast, but I don't type super slow. Um, I don't actually do a lot of dad jokes. I do them on on purpose when you when it's the excuses uh, um yeah the like hold the phone and sheesh and all that stuff like i added those into my vocabulary because i because when you've got like kids around Otherwise, if I didn't have like a go-to thing to say, I'd be like, fuck. And then he'd be like, oh, you know, <laughs> you don't want to be doing that accidentally when there's like somebody else's kids in the house. Um, so I started do using those just as a, yeah, it's the equivalent of Phoebe says, shut the front door. Exactly. Um, dude, I type slow. I've been telling you guys forever that I don't have dexterity. Like I don't use, I can't move 
super, I can't move my hands super fast. Like I'm not a shredding fast guitar player, super fast pianist. So what do you expect from me? I could sit here and like learn, you know, I, I didn't grow up, that was the other thing is I didn't grow up with um, typing classes and all that. Um, like my mom taught me type to type, you know, whatever. Uh, I So I kind of got a little bit of it, but I didn't like, you know, my kids have like typing, they like, ty they like learned proper finger placement and whatever. Yeah. Um, I also don't have a, like a day job where I have to type. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn to type faster. Fucking watch. You just watch. Let me get my fingers on the ASDF and JKL semicolon. Um, what does this mean? I'll be 2000 says, could please. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, this is a. I understand. Okay, never mind. She, her question started with, could please read to yourself? And I was like, wait, what did she ask? Oh, could I please read your my question to myself? Got it. Sometimes I get questions. Sometimes when I'm like staring at the screen and not saying anything, it's because some of the questions are, some of the questions are inappropriate. Other questions are um, not for you guys to see. Some of them are just things they wanted to say to me. And you're usually very nice. Always. I'm actually 99% of the time they're super nice. Um, and so, yeah, so that's why, that's, if I'm quiet and like staring at the screen, it's usually because of that. I'm Lucy C Z L U C I E C Z. Hi, Mike. Do you have any funny food stories while traveling the world, having something you thought you know, but it turned out totally different and not good? Thanks for everything and being awesome. Oh boy. You know, I had, um, I am really adventurous when it comes to food. Um, I'm cool with like trying new things. And I, one time, oh, where was I? In Australia, they have this one place that's like a total tourist trap. Like, uh, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not like a good restaurant. It's just like, oh, we serve crazy shit. Like we serve alligator and kangaroo and blah, blah, blah. Um, and I went there and I tried that and everything was, I tried everything and it was fine. It was like kind of whatever. It just, it wasn't good and it wasn't bad. It was just like whatever. They had camel. It was, I mean, as you can imagine, camel is like dry and gamey. Um, so I'll eat stuff and I don't, it doesn't bother me. I don't love stuff that's super, um, super fishy. Um, like I will, I like sea urchin a lot. And I like um, more like, I'll eat like fishy-ish sushi and stuff like that. But I will not eat, um, I don't like herring. I don't like um, really strong fish eggs and stuff like that. Um, I don't like, oh, that's another thing. I don't like durian. No, I don't fuck with durian. Um, I don't eat shork. I won't eat shork. Um, I don't eat, Rob, Rob, Rob and like, well, surfers in, in, will tell you, don't eat shark because it's bad karma. Like, you don't eat them, they don't eat you. <laughs> I always thought that was so funny. Like, it's so superstitious, but it's like, it's kind of great. Um, I've never had shark, I don't know. Um, let's see here. Uh, Justin says, first and, most, first and most importantly, I hope you and uh, everyone are, and everyone watching are having a a good and uh, great day. My question is, has Joe Dave or Rob ever contributed lyrics to a Linkin Park song? Um, if they have, it was probably just like a, like an edit 
to a um oh by the way that was from justin from cold front um if they have it was probably like just changing a word or a couple of words um not ever like writing lyrics like it's just yeah it's just they i don't feel like they would do that they don't they never have been like really interested in they've always like felt they've always treated the vocals as like that's something that i would do that chester would do brad was more like he'd suggest lines he went from really in the early days for first like three or four albums he went from like never touching them he'd say he'd say i you know i want you to rewrite this or i don't like this part but he wouldn't say do this um and then over time on the like the last i think it's mostly on just one more light he would suggest melodies and occasionally uh lyrics so he didn't really do that on he, he may have suggested melodies on living things i don't think he did it on any other he didn't do it on hunting party or i think or the or earlier ones um but he wrote he like wrote words and melodies on one more life um sharp edges he wrote um with he and ilsi i think wrote that demo together and then i came in and i tweaked a couple things I don't remember if Chester did. Um, anyway. Um, let's see if I can find... Let's do one more question. Um, Cenox says, Hey, Mike, I heard you tried skateboarding when you were younger. Could you land any tricks or did you give up before? Also, Monday is my birthday. Hey, happy birthday. Um, so, I couldn't do any real tricks. I... I could like, I could jump off of something and put my board under me and land on it. I could kind of get the board off the ground ollieing, but I couldn't even, I couldn't even jump a board up onto a curb. Like I, that was the point where all of my friends started ollieing up onto things and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I tried for months. It was like so stupid. Like I felt so like dumb. I kept trying it and just would slam into the curb and whatever i couldn't get the board to go up um and i really did try but I, it didn't it didn't work out so that's when i kind of gave up because it, all every single one of my friends could do it like maybe there was like one or two people who who quit um include and myself included and then the rest of them could do it and the other thing was i had a neighbor there's these neighbors uh up from where i live like up the street we lived on a hill and these guys were like when we were really little they were probably like almost 10 years older than me and um they they would tear down the street at one point they set up a trash can upright and they were ollieing over it and and granted it was like an incline so they weren't it was like they had a you know i think they even may have had a ramp but they were good um, they could have ended up being pro. I don't even know. I have no idea who they were, but they were sick. And I was like, yeah, I'm looking at that. Just going like, never, never, ever will I get to be like that good. And also I'm terrified of that, doing that and like breaking my arm. Like I was not built for that shit. Um, I love watching it though. I watched a lot of skateboarding. Um, I still do. I follow a lot of skaters on Instagram. Um... Dude, if you guys haven't haven't skateboarders to follow, um, like besides like super ta like Nija and like you know the the top skaters, if you've never seen this kid, first of all, if you've never seen Autumn skating, is it Autumn skating or Autumn loves skating? Um, she is three years old and from Australia. It is the best thing to watch because every time she's getting incrementally better and she is so, it's so damn funny and so cute. Um, but there's, she's gonna be like, you know, that's the kind of kid that by the time they get to be like eight, they're gonna be sh like, you know, in fucking insane. They're gonna be totally, she's gonna be totally insane. 
Who's the Brazilian girl? I'll say shout out one other skater. Who's the Bra I'm looking for her right now on my feed. The girl who's like really young, who's like 13, who's who just fucking shreds. What's her name? Raisa. Raisa is so dope. Oh my god. She's a beast. She's so dope. Oh my god. Go check her out. I forget what her um R A I S S A. Go yeah, Leal. It's her last name. Come on. Oh man. That's if you watch one person, if you follow one new new person, you're gonna watch her and just be like, man. That's a that is a kid who's gonna grow up to be. She's gonna do things, she's gonna do things on a skateboard that people are gonna be like, wait, is that a video game or did a human just do that? Cause she's already so good and she's like a little kid. Um, all right. Anyway, that's the end of the stream. I gotta go. It's the weekend. It's one o'clock. We made a thing in GarageBand. Should I grab another? Should we do another? Let's grab another thing out of the uh, out of the bowl. Grab a a little packet. We pre pre mixed. Um, pre-mashed up some things um and then we'll get with them we're gonna go and then we're gonna uh raid um whatchamacallit we're gonna raid i don't know how to say the word solative 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 um we're gonna raid in a second so let's see if we can do let me see if this works this mashup it's all stuck together let's see if this works for a garage bin mashup next week Ooh, I don't know. This might not be the one. Um. Okay, I can try. I can try. Uh, this is gonna be a challenge, but we'll find. We'll figure it out. Uh, so this one is the mashup is Queen. I want to break free. Um, Disney Frozen Moana vibes. Salsa, Latin, up tempo, and Migos, you record your own ad libs. So, wow, that's gonna be something else. Um, and I'll try and do it in GarageBand. How about that? Um, could be a total train wreck. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to try and raid this channel. Uh, if this doesn't work, we're going to try Dr. Deimos. Um, uh, I'm going to do a 30 second ad while I figure out this raid thing. Uh, raid is happening. Let's see. Oh, they're on. Okay. So looks like we're good to go. Um, yeah. Thanks for the... Uh, thanks for the... The, the ideas, guys. You really made this this garage bin thing work. I'll see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend.